I'm going to show you a roll-to-roll -roll application using a PSA over laminate and a printed vinyl media on the bottom side. So the first thing I'll do is come around to the back, pull my shaft out, and I'll load up my over laminate. And I want to make sure that I'm loading it correctly. There are two ways that film gets wound onto the core, and that is a poly in and a poly out. This is a poly in, which means that the liner is on the inside of the roll, the and the film is on the outside. The other is known as a poly out, and that is the film on the inside and the liner on the outside. So with this being a poly in, this is going to unroll from the bottom of the shaft. If it was a poly out, it would unroll from the top of the shaft. So I will load this on. Close that. I'll line this up on the scales as closely as possible. And we're going to fine tune this in a couple of minutes. Okay. Then I'm going to come around to the front of the machine. I'll raise my feed table, lock it in place, unlock the cradle, and swing my bottom supply shaft out. I'm going to remove my media alignment discs, disc, and then I will load on the printed vinyl media. Now, this is an adhesive back, so there's a liner on the back side and all the printing is on the outside. So this is actually going to load on and unwind in the opposite direction as the poly in over laminate. Now, printed media is notorious for telescoping. And you can see how easily it telescopes right here. So we're going to use those media discs to keep this lined up. I'm going to center this as much as possible using my scales. Lock it in place. And I want to do the same thing for this side. Once I have that in place, go ahead and put the shaft back in, lock it down. Pull my tape off. Bring this up and around this idler bar. I'm just going to let that rest right here for now because I want to bring my top roll of film down just to make sure that I have it set properly. So I'll reach back, take the tape off of that. Bring that underneath that idler bar and over the rollers. I'll bring this down. And then I'll match it up side to side. I'm a little bit off. I'm going to leave my media in that spot. I'm just going to move my film over. Once I have that in place, I'll check it. It looks good. So I'll leave that there. Rewind my film. And we're going to go ahead and attach the film 
to the rewind tube. So what I have is my liner is going to get taped onto the cardboard tube. So I'll take a piece of masking tape. I'm going to twist it 180 degrees so I have adhesive on this side and adhesive on this side. I'm going to stick that onto this core just like this. Tighten it up a little bit. Bring this up. Attach it. And now I'm going to give it one twist like this. Take my knife and I'm going to score the film without cutting the release liner. Once I've scored that film, then I can separate it. I'm going to bring it down and drape it over this top roller. And I'll let the static in the film hold that in place. Just like that. I'm going to raise my table so I have access to this film. Then I'll bring my media up, take up a little bit of the excess that I have there, and I'm going to tack it right to that top roll of film, like this. Then I'll give myself a little bit of slack in that film, and I'm going to tuck that right into the nip area of the rollers. Now at this point it is extremely critical to make sure that your film is nice and tight and flat against the roller and the media same thing nice and tight and flat against that roller you want to make sure that it's the same on both sides top uh, for the top and the bottom. So I'm going to hold that in place like this and on my control panel I'm just going to bring that all the way down. So I'll push the bottom button. All right. Now I want to get started. So I'm going to go to the foot pedal. And start the product in. Once that's gone in a couple of inches, I'm going to come around to the back side, make sure that we're coming through. So I can see I've got a little bit of river and wrinkle right here. I'm just going to raise that up a little bit. Grab hold of this and pull that through. I'm going to attach the web I started in the center to my lower rear we rewind tube. Like this. Bring my control panel around. And because this is a touchscreen with flip convenience, I'm going to flip this over. And now I can use my functions from the back side. So I'll put it on foot, press run, my foot pedal.
once I see everything going through the way I want, I will press the run button, release the foot pedal, and it'll continue to run. Now, I'll bring my side slitter over. Lower that into place. Do the same over on this side. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. So over on this side, everything looks good. I don't have to touch my brake tensions. I'm going to add a little bit of clutch to this rewind because I want to keep that back just a little bit farther than it is. So all I'm doing is adding a little bit of clutch. And I'm going to let this float out here. As you can see right here, I'm letting that liner float so I'm not stressing my film.